What is up, my people? It's time to talk about the Capcom side of things. What do we want Capcom to bring to the table when the new MVC4 comes around? And it will come around because, by the way, I just got uh, done watching an interview with the devs of SF6 who are also responsible for the collection um you know the the, the mvc collection and th they said they're going to be bringing out more of these collections so who knows maybe when next time we'll get like a 3d collection or or whatever um and you know but the thing was that they asked them the question if if it was possible for a new mvc4 to you know come around maybe possibly somewhere in, in the future and the answer was yes the answer that 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 the dev gave was that they were game for it that they were ready for for that but that there's going there's going to be a challenge because it's going to be a back and forth between them and marvel of course of course they've done it before so it shouldn't be that much of a challenge in my opinion um you know, and it's obvious that they're already, um, there's already a relationship there. So, um, so yeah, I mean, the, the, if the devs want it, you know, and they did this collection, you know, he said that the, the best they could do is put out a collection, which means that the collection is going to almost gauge where the public is at. And then they could go to the big bosses and tell them, see, there is a you know a demand for this game you know people actually want this game to come back now of course if you know anything about video games and you know anything about mvc and its fan base you know that it's really unnecessary to make it a, a test you know you know that the community has always been talking about this game you know and 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 it coming back um in, in some way um and but still you know you the people that have the money the people that, that are going to invest in it um they want to be sure that they're going to get a return in their investment and i think that this is a, a test you know and everybody's been knowing this but um hearing the devs you know talk about it the way they talked about it it reassures um the things that i was thinking about so it's one thing that if I say it or if, if you know, Mac Muscle says it or, or Maximilian Dude or Justin Wong says it. But when the people that are working on it say it, um, you know, that's way better in my opinion. But, you know, moving on here, guys, before before I do move on, I do want to say, um, you know, before I get started with, with my fantasy list here for the Capcom side. Uh, number one, just like in the other one, we're just going to go over characters that haven't been in an mvc game okay that's number one number two i am not a capcom expert and the reason i'm giving this disclaimer at first is because with marvel i mean i'm, I'm familiar with marvel you know we have marvel comics we have the mvc uh, i mean the um marvel universe you know um the mcu you know there's animations that we know about like the cartoons or whatever so we're well versed with the lore of cyclops you know Captain America, Spider-Man, all of these guys. But with Capcom, you know, they're based out of, you know, Japan. There's not much that I know about them. So out of Street Fighter and Rival Schools, you know, and even those, um, back when I knew about them, I was so young and I only knew about them, you know, in, in the sense of gaming, you know, and nobody really cared that much. Now, you know, we're older and we care a lot more. Um, you know, when MVC one came out, that's when I, you know, discovered that there even was a Captain Commando, that there was a Strider, that there was a Mega Man, believe it or not. All of these characters were new to me. The only characters that I even knew about was Street Fighter. Um uh, Street Fighter characters. So um Ryu, Chun Li, you know, Zangief, Blanca, you know, all of these guys. Of course, we know those guys, the, the, the worldwide famous, right? But all of the other ones, you know, they were really obscure characters to me. And 
I discovered him through MVC. And I think that's the case with a lot of people that are from the U.S. or from, from the, the Western world. But moving on here, guys. Um, just, just letting you guys know. Some of these characters, I just think they look cool. Some of them is because people have um, asked for these characters. And because other people have asked for these characters, I'm going to bring them forward. Um, and, and talk about that. And some of them are personal favorites of mine. Um, and some of them, they just look cool, basically. <laughs> so, here we go. This one, Rashid, is a personal favorite of mine. Um, I played this character specifically in SF6. Now, of course, this guy's first appearance was in SF5. And I hated him in, the, <laughs> in, in SF5. Um, but... For some reason, they just turned it around in, in SF6, and, you know, he's one of my favorite characters, if not my top favorite character. Um, you know, I just can't play him right now because my finger is kind of messed up. But, and it requires a lot of movement, this guy. So, um, but yeah, he's um, he's definitely one of my favorites, but that's not the only reason why I want him in the game. I, I've heard that, and not just that I've heard it, but his gameplay is perfect for an MVC game. You know, he's he's zipping and zapping across the screen. You know, he he flies around and just to see this guy in MVC is gonna be so crazy. Um and, and his I think his gameplay style is perfect for a game like um MVC. Um but yeah. Moving on, uh this is one of those obscure characters that I don't even know that much about and the only reason I got her, her on the list is because of Maximilian Dude. I know you guys know about Maximilian Dude. And that's the only reason I know about this character. And it's from a game called Alien vs. Predator. A beat em up game. And this is a character in the game. She has a sword. And I think she has like a gun or something like that. A machine gun. And yeah, it would be cool if, if she she could make it into an MVC game. MVC 4. Will she make it? The possibilities are slim to none because... I don't know how the licenses are licensing uh, stuff is gonna work with with um, with her because if you know anything about aliens and predator they are a Fox owned um, company or Fox owned uh, media so if they made a, li uh, a a some kind of licensing where they keep the characters then fine but I, I have no idea to be honest. Um, but we'll just have to see. Moving on to another obscure character that I know nothing about, but maybe you guys do. Um, Kenshi, I believe is his name, or, or, um, yeah, hopefully that's his name, uh, from, from Red Earth. And, uh, I mean, yeah, Red Earth. And, yeah, it's just a ninja, right, with, with, with a scarf. Um, I don't know anything about his playlist. If you guys let me know if he's, he's good or not. Uh, but he's he's a ninja. He looks cool, and it's pretty much as much as I know about him, and that's why I want him in. Now, pretty much, he's probably not gonna be in because he's pretty much Strider with with a mask, right? So, possibilities of him making it in, like I said, some of these are slim to none. But you know, I'm still going to to pick him for my personal list, but. Leo is another one that I want on there too. Leo is also from the same game. Um, and he looks cool. I mean, <laughs> what do you want from me? He, he's a lion with a sword. So, of course, I'm going to want him, you know, in the game. A lot of these characters, by the way, they're going to they're gonna be sword-wielding characters. Um, maybe I have a thing for that. I, I don't know, but the, a lot of them are. Um, but, um, but, yeah, I think he'd be, he'd be a, good, a good pick for, for NBC. Uh, four. Kagami from uh, Rival Schools. One of my personal favorite favorites. Actually, I did play Rival Schools a long time ago. Um, maybe what 12, 11 or twelve years old, something like that. Um, and yeah, he's one of my favorite Capcom characters for the reason that he's so weird. He's like, he's a Capcom character, but he 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 kind of plays a little bit like a um, um, like a Kino Fighters character, you know. So he's he's very weird like that. Um, 
And uh, I think he's pretty cool. I mean, he should be in the game. Personally, if, if I was to pick one guy from rival schools, it would be him. I know other people would pick, you know, other characters that are probably more popular. This is the one I personally want in the game. Uh, that's a lot from uh, a, another obscure game that I did not play. Um, called Knights of the Round. Uh, not Knights of the Round Table. It's Knights of the Round. Um, but... Yeah, Lancelot is, is probably the most interesting character in the game. He looks more different than the rest of them because he's he doesn't have a helmet for some reason. Um, or at least from the pictures that I could see, that's what it looked like. Um, but yeah, I think he'd be cool. It's another sword wielding character. You know, I'm pretty sure there's no rules for sword how many sword wielding characters are there are allowed, but um but yeah. Uh JP. Guys, JP is another character that I personally like from SF6. Um, he's he's one of my mains. And he's his owner. You know, I think his gameplay would be perfect for MVC. I think his gameplay would be perfect for a lot of crossovers, to be honest with you. Um, you know, maybe they could fix his, his problem with anti-airs. <laughs> but, um, you know, cross your fingers, I guess. But if I was to pick like one of these suits, I would definitely go for the for this one here, the, the blue and, and red. Um, it just fits his style more, I think. His style just looks better this way. He looks that he's he's like a wizard, pretty much. So uh, I think this one would be would be the best one out of the two. Um, this guy, Joe Star, right? Um, why? Because he needs to be in the game, dude. Like, he is a Capcom character, right? I know that the licensing is probably stuck somewhere with Shonen Jump or something like that. I'm not sure. But I'm sure that they could... They've, they've made a, a JoJo's game already, right? Um, that's how I came to know this character. So... Just, you know, just do something to where you could get the license or whatever. Whatever it takes, this guy should be in there. Um, because this guy's going to bring, from the Capcom side, he's going to bring some of the younger um, viewers in. Because um, for us old heads or, or older people, you know, like myself, um, the first time we saw this character was in JoJo's Bizarre Adventures, the arcade game. Um, but for the younger kids... Um, they know this character from the manga and from the anime series um, that's been going on for a while now. So, but that's how they know them, know this character. So if you you bring this character in, it's gonna bring those guys in, and you want you want the youth behind you for momentum for sure. Uh, Ashura is not my personal favorite at all. It's just one of the guys who people claim needs to be in the game or through who people clamor actually that's the word that i was looking for um for him to be in the game i personally think he's you know screams too much for me personally but the people want him so get him in the game i guess i don't know um moving on to these guys over here they're from a shooting game an old shooting game from capcom and um and yeah there's I don't know anything about them. I've never played the game, but they look cool. Um, if they if they were gonna pick one, I would pick the, the the red with the mohawk. The guy with the red suit and the mohawk is probably the the, the best option if I was to pick one of these guys. Um, probably gonna be zoners, so they're probably gonna have grenades and stuff like that. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah. Uh, Wang Tang from. Uh, Power Stone. Another game that I did play, but very little. Um, and this is one of those very fun games, you know, and light-hearted games, um, in my opinion. And I don't know why. I, I don't think I've seen any character from Power Stone. You guys, let me know. I don't remember seeing any any character from from Power Stone in an MVC game. Um, but I think it's it, I think it's time. You know, I think and you know, I think this guy should be the one. Um, you know, of course, there, there is other characters that you could choose from, but this is my personal pick. You guys let me know if you, you think it should be somebody else. Um, you know, but Wang Tang is my pick. And hear me out, guys. Okay, I know what you're thinking. 
what is the generic avatar character from SF6 doing in an NBC game. And that's exactly why I want him in there. Because it's going to be so funny. It's going to be so hilarious. People are going to be like, well, what is this guy doing here? And he's, he's going to be like a joke character. You know, similar to, like I said, Arthur and, and you know, Dan and stuff like that. You don't know what he's doing there, but he's he's there. <laughs> like, I think this guy should be in the game. Um, I think it'll be funny. And I think it'll be cool, too, because his moveset's going to be copying other characters' movesets. Which is awesome, in my opinion, in my personal opinion. Uh, moving on here, this guy from uh, Cyberbots, which is the other cool character in the game. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know anything about him. I never played the game. Uh, don't know the lore, you know, but he just looks cool, so I want him in the game. I don't know. Uh, Count Talbain, I did play uh, Darkstalkers. And he was one of my favorite characters, you know, but yeah, Count Tabain should definitely be um, in the game, guys. I think his, his moveset is perfect for, for the game. Um, and I think a lot of people, this is one of the ones that a lot of people want in the game as well, next to B.B. Hart. And um, who else? Uh, well, I think that's it. I think B.B. Hart's one of, actually, B.B. Hart's probably one of the ones that people want the most. Um you know, and I think we've had in MVC only Mor Morgan and um, who else? I know I'm missing somebody else, but uh, Mor Morgan is the most famous one. Uh, but she's in everything, dude. So uh, moving on here, and this is my last pick, guys. Carlos Miyamoto. Uh, Carlos Miyamoto is a character from uh, Final Fight. And he was also in SF6. He is a, a character in SF6. I think he's perfect for the game. You know, I know he's another sword wielding character. Um, but I think he'd be great, personally. And, um, yeah, I mean, he, he's already in SF6. He made his big return in SF6. I digged it a lot. I thought it was crazy that he was in the game. I had a lot of fun um, playing with him in World Tour. But now it's time to bring him out there and bring him to an MVC game. Let him live on, in my in my opinion. Yeah, it would be cool. But anyways, guys, that is my list. Um, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you agree, if you disagree. Let me know um, if you'd rather have other characters. Um, yeah. Let me know, guys. But if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you guys later.